ओम ज्ञान तिमिनंदस्यज्ञानाजनाशलाक्यचक्षुन्मिलतमेनतस्मैश्रीगुरुवेनवाश्रीचेतनेमनोविष्टमस्थापितमेनभूतलेस्वारुपमकदामयंदद
Sometimes there appear, appears to be scarcity and sometimes we find that grains and fruits are produced in such a huge quantity that people cannot finish eating them. So this is the question of Krishna's glands. If Krishna likes, he can produce a huge quantity of grains, fruits and vegetables. But if Krishna desires to restrict the supply, what good will need to do? You may eat me or I may eat you, but that will not solve the problem. Yes, uh, Pradeep Guru. Pradeep Guru. Or Sanpar and Pradeep. Sorry, Pradeep. I was reading it. 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 Uh, for peace and tranquility and a sufficient supply of milk, water and everything else we need, we simply have to depend on Krishna. This is what Bhagavad, uh, Bhakti Vedanta Thakur teaches us when he says, Marabi Rakhavi Yuchha Tohara. My Lord, uh, my dear Lord, I simply surrender unto you, depend on you. Now if you like, you may kill me or else you may give me a protection. And Krishna says in reply, Yes, Saru Dharman Prajit Parijat Parijajata Mam Ekum Sharanam Rajaya. Simply surrender exclusively, exclusively onto me. He does not say, Yes, depend on me, and also surrender on your slaughterhouses and factories. No, he says, Depend only on me. Ahem, Tavam Sarva. I will rescue you from the result of your sinful activities. Because we have lived so many years without being Krishna conscious, we have lived only a sinful life. But Krishna assures us that as soon as one surrenders to him, he immediately squares all accounts and puts an end to all to all one sinful activity so that one may begin a new life. When we initiate disciples, we therefore tell them, now the account is squared. Now don't commit sinful activities anymore. It's one okay. should not think that because the holy name of Krishna can nullify sin sinful activities, one may commit a little sinful activity and chant Hare Krishna to nullify it. That, that is greatest offense. Namo the member of some religious order go to church and confess their sins, but then they again commit the same sinful activities. What then is the value of their confession? One may confess, Oh Lord, my Lord, out of my ignorance I committed the sin. But one should not plan, I shall commit sinful activities and then go to church and confess them. And then the sin will be nullified. And I, I can begin a new chapter of sinful life. Similarly, one should not knowingly take advantage of chanting of Hare Krishna Mantra to nullify simply, uh, sinful activities so that one may then begin, begin sinful act, acts again. We should be very careful. Before taking initiation, one promised to have no illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling, and no meditating. And this vow one should strictly follow. Then one will be clean. If one keeps oneself clean in this way and always engage in devotional services, his life will be a success. And there will be no scarcity of anything he wants. Okay, moving to the next chapter, chapter number 24, cutting off ties of affection. Yes, uh, Swati Mataji. Proji, you will continue, karing, please. Okay, okay. Yes, uh, Navin Proji. Hare Krishna, please don't come. Hare Krishna, please don't come. Hare Krishna, please don't come. Atha Vishvesha Vishwataman Vishwamurte Sakeshume O Lord of the universe, soul of the universe, O personality of the form of the universe, please therefore sever my tie of affection for my kinsmen, the Pandavas and the Vrishnis. Srimad Bhagavatam 1841. A 
pure devotee of the lord is ashamed to ask anything in self interest from the lord but the householders are sometimes obliged to ask favors from the lord being bound by the tie of family affection shrimati kunti devi was conscious of the fact and therefore she prayed to the lord to cut off the affectionate tie from her own kinsmen the pandavas and the vishnus the pandavas are her own sons and the vishnus are the members of her paternal family krishna was equally related to both families both the families required the lord's help because both were dependent devotees of the lord shrimati kunti devi wished shri krishna to remain with her sons the pandavas but by doing so her paternal house would be bereft of the benefit all these possibilities troubled the mind of kunti and therefore she desired to cut up all the affectionate tie a pure devotee cuts off the limited ties of affection for his family and widens his activities of devotion service for all for good and souls the typical example is the band of six goswamis who followed the path of lord chaitanya all of them belong to the most enlightened and uncultured rich families of the higher caste but for the benefit of the mass of the masses but benefit of the mass of population they lift their comfortable homes and become mendicants to cut off all family affection means to broaden the field of activity without doing this no one can be qualified as brahmana a king a public leader or a devotee of the lord the personality of godhead as an idol king showed this by example shri ram chandra cut off the tie of affection for his beloved wife to manifest the qualities of an idol king uh, yes uh, pradeep to such personalities as a brahmana and a brahmana a devotee a king or a public leader must be very broad minded and discharging their respective duties shrimati kunti devi was conscious of this fact and being weak she prayed to free from such bondage of family affection the lord is addressed as the lord of universe or the lord of universal mind indicating his all powerful ability to cut the hard knot of family affection therefore it is sometimes ex- experienced that the lord out of his special affinity towards a weak devotee breaks his family affection by force of circumstances arranged by his all powerful energy and by doing so he causes the devotee to become completely dependent on him and thus clears the path for his going back to godhead oh yes i'm loving to read Kunti was the daughter of the Vishnu family and the wife and mother of the Pandava family. Generally, a woman has affection for both her father's family and husband's family, and therefore Kunti prays to Krishna, "I am a woman, and women women are generally attached to their family. So kindly cut off my attachment so that I may be thoroughly attached to you. Without you, both families are zero. I am falsely attached to these families, but my real purpose in life is to be attached to you. This is bhakti." bhakti involves becoming free from the attachments of this material world and becoming attached in sri krishna one cannot become an an attached for one must be attached to something but in order to become attached to krishna or enter into devotional service of the lord one has to become detached from material affection so people ordinary go to krishna to maintain their attachment to the material world oh god they pray give us our daily bread they have attachment to this material world and to live in this material world they pray for supplies of material things so that they can maintain their status quo this is called material attachment although in one sense of course it is good that people go to god to secure their material position that is not actually desirable rather than worship god to increase one's opulence in the material world one should become free from material attachment for bhakti yoga therefore we should be detached our suffering is due to our attachment because we are materially attached we desire so many material things and therefore krishna gives us the opportunity to enjoy whatever material facilities we want of course one must deserve these facilities first does the then desire suppose i want to become king 
I must have pious activities behind me so that I can become king. Krishna can give us whatever we want, even mukti, liberation. But bhakti is a special consideration because he gives someone bhakti. He becomes purchased by the bhakti and becomes a tool in the hand of the bhakti, even though he is the supreme power. Radharani, the symbol of the topmost bhakti is, is so powerful that she has purchased Krishna. Therefore, Vaishnavas take shelter of the lotus feet of Radharani for if she recommends. Or here is a nice devotee, Krishna must accept him. So, Prabhuji, on this point, just a comment. I have personal experience. Bhagavan ki kripa se, mein jo bhi desire karta hoon, mujhe mil jata hai. Kewal bhakti hi hai jo Bhagavan ni de rahe mujhe. That is something uh, I have uh, seen time and time again. Ki bhakti ek aise chiz hai, Bhagavan se maangte rahi hai. वो भक्ति मांगने से नहीं मिलती है भक्ति में दो चीजें हैं मर्सी और एंडेवर एंडेवर भी बहुत सिंसियर एंडेवर चाहिए और वो मर्सी जो है वो भी भगवान के डिवोटिस के थ्रू मिलती है भगवान दे सकते हैं जैसे यहां पर एग्जांपल आया राधा रानी का तो राधा रानी की जब कृपा होती है उसी प्रकार से जो हमारे आचार्यज हैं वैष्णव आचार्यज हैं जब वो उनकी कृपा होती है और उनके थ्रू परंपरा में जैसे गुरु हैं गुरु की कृपा होती है या फिर जब आपने इनिशिएशन नहीं हुआ तो उससे पहले आप अगर इंस्पायर कर रहे हैं या कोई और दूसरा वैष्णव है जो आपका शिष्य गुरु है तो लेकिन कृपा कब होती है जब हमारा एंड ओवर सिंसियर होता है कृपा ऐसे तो नहीं मिल जाएगी ना आप सोचो कि कृपा ऐसे ही आ जाएगी वो दोनों वो जो दामो, दामोदर लीना है टू फिंगर का एग्जांपल आता है राइट टू शॉर्ट ऑफ ऑलवेज तो वो सो दैट इज वेरी क्रिटिकल आई डोंट नो यहां पर कितने लोगों को एक्सपीरियंस है भक्ति का बट मैं पिछले 12 13 साल से प्रैक्टिस कर रहा हूं तो मैं बता सकता हूं कि भक्ति ही की कमी है बाकी तो सब भगवान की कृपा से ठीक-ठाक है भगवान कृष्णा के लिए इट्स नथिंग ही कैन गिव यू एवरीथिंग लाइक इट्स जस्ट व्हाटएवर भगवान पूरे ब्रह्मांड पूरे यूनिवर्स के मालिक हैं राइट सब कुछ उनका है लेकिन भक्ति वो ऐसे है ना क्योंकि वो जब भक्ति देती तो फिर वो खुद ही प्राप्त हो जाएगी वो वो नहीं बस भक्ति नहीं देते मैं रॉन्ग भी हो सकता हूं ये मेरा मेंटल स्पेकुलेशन हो सकता है यू कैन क्लेरिफाई दिस पॉइंट विद अश्विन प्रभु जी और अदर डिवोटी या दैट्स दैट माय रियलाइजेशन या नो प्रोजेक्ट आई थिंक आई एम एग्रीड विद यू कि मतलब आप नॉर्मली देखोगे जो लोग डिवोशनल सर्विस में जा रहे हैं चाहे वो स्कॉन में है चाहे किसी और संस्था में है ठीक है वो वो इसलिए ही जा रहे हैं जिस स्कॉन में तो हार्डकोर भक्ति के ऊपर फोकस किया जाता है लेकिन और संस्था में तो आप देखोगे तो दिस लॉट्स ऑफ मेटेरियलिज्म तो उनकी डिजायर्स फुलफिल हो रही है तो इसलिए वो लोग जा रहे हैं तो मेरे को लगता है कि डिजायर्स जो हैं अदर देन भक्ति जो अदर डिजायर्स है वो मतलब डेमी गॉड्स भी फुलफिल कर रहे हैं और भगवान तो मतलब भक्ति का बाय प्रोडक्ट है और डिजायर फुलफिल हो रही है लेकिन ये भक्ति इज टॉप मोस्ट तो मतलब जो रियल डिवोशनल सर्विस है कभी कभी जैसे मेरे जैसे आदमी को फिर हमें लगता है कि हम माला कर रहे हैं तो हाँ हम भक्ति कर रहे हैं भगवान भक्ति दे रहा है बट कहीं ना कहीं वो जो माला है वो uh, कुछ ना कुछ के पीछे कुछ एक, एक मोटिव होता है बैक एंड पे हाँ लेकिन Being a devotee of Krishna, हमें डेमी गोड्स के पास जरूरत नहीं है अगर हम मटेरियल भी कुछ yes. मांगना तो हम भगवान से ही मांगे मतलब आचार्य बताते हैं कि ये सब चीजें तो बाय प्रोडक्ट है भक्ति का बाय प्रोडक्ट है अगर हम भक्ति एस्पायर कर रहे हैं तो जो भी हमें चाहिए हमारे रिक्वायरमेंट के अकॉर्डिंग वो तो आ ही जाएगा कभी कभी गिल्ट नहीं गिल्ट सा महसूस नहीं होता तो ये मतलब जैसे सब पता होने के बावजूद भी सरेंडर पूरा नहीं आ पाता हम्म तो कभी कभी ये पता होने के बावजूद भी भक्ति अल्टीमेट मतलब मैं अपना पर्सनली बता रहा हूँ कि भक्ति के लिए एस्पायर करना चाहिए नॉट फॉर द मटेरियल मटेरियल फॉर द मटीरियल अचीवमेंट एंड अटैचमेंट बट स्टिल ये होता है कि जैसे आप बता रहे हो ना कि दिमाग में चलती रहती है एस्पिरेशन की हाँ ये 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 अगर वो कभी जो वो स्ट्राइक करती है फिर एकदम एज ए गिल्ड से रियलाइज होता है कि है तो स्वार्थी यस यस यू राइट टू जी Until our surrender to holy name नहीं होगा ना और जब हमारी साधना और सरेंडर होली नेम की जिससे बच्चे बढ़ता जाता है देन ऑटोमेटिकली सारी चीजें ठीक हो जाती हैं तो उसका सब थोड़ा रीजन ये एक अच्छे भक्त में और एक स्ट्रगल करने वाले भक्त में मतलब आई डोंट वांट टू डिफरेंशिएट बट ये बोलना चाहिए एक एडवांस भक्त में या जो आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और एक जो भक्त स्ट्रगल कर रहा है या वही का वही है उसका आप देखेंगे आपको उसके लाइफ स्टाइल देखिएगा और उसकी साधना देखिएगा 
जो की डिफरेंस आते हैं ना वो साधना की वजह से आते हैं to become a devotee of the lord one must be completely cleansed of all material attachments the qualification is called vairagya upon becoming a student of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu sar bhuma bhattacharya wrote 100 verses praising him and two of these verses are mentioned in the chaitanya charitra amrit and one of them is in the statement vairagya vidya निजा भक्ति योगा सिक्सम एक पुषा पुराण श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य शरीराधारी कृपा धूरी प्रपाद्य लेट मी टेक दल्टर ऑफ सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एंड श्री कृष्ण हो फॉर्म ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रीच ऑफ द रियल नॉलेज हिज डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड अटैचमेंट फ्रॉम वट एवर डज not forced to krishna consciousness he has descended because he is an ocean of transcendental mercy let me surrender onto his lotus feet uh, sarva bhuma bhattacharya thus uh, offered his prayer to the supreme personality of god who had now assumed the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu just to teach his people how to develop knowledge become detached and become pure devotee of krishna although when chitanya mahaprabhu was only 24 or 25 years old he had a lovable beautiful wife and a devoted affectionate mother he gave up everything and took sanyas the renounced order of life when chitanya mahaprabhu was a grahastha householder he was so much honored that merely by direction of a singer he was able to enlist thousands of people to join him in a civil disobedience movement in nadia the city where he lived his position was very respectable and physically he was very beautiful yet he gave up his young beautiful uh, faithful yes yet he gave up his young faithful beautiful wife his affection mother his position and everything else this is called vairagya renunciation yes please someone who has nothing sorry bro you kuch keh rahe hain no 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 please. If someone who has nothing to possess says, "I have renounced everything," what is the meaning of his renunciation? What if one has something and then renounces it? His renunciation is meaningful. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's renunciation is unique. No one else could give up such a happy home, such honor, and such affection from mother, wife, friends, and students. Even Advaita Prabhu, although the age of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's father, honored Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yet still, she Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave up everything. Why? Just to teach us. आपानी आचारी प्रभु महाप्रभुरा कृष्णा प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चेतन्याय नामने गौरात से नम यू आर द मोस्ट मैग्नेटिमस ही प्रेड फॉर यू आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग लव ऑफ कृष्णा प्रोजेक्ट 725 कैन यू स्टॉप ओके इतना टाइम हो गया पूरी ओ 855 यस प्रभु जी जस्ट फॉलो व्हाट इज द रूटीन आप फॉलो करते हैं सॉरी मैं लेटली थोड़ा बिजी चल रहा था मैं ज्वाइन नहीं कर पा रहा था एंड आई टार्ड बी रेगुलर <laughs> So we can anyways we can stop or if there are any comments or uh, reflections we can take it otherwise uh, we can stop right here okay uh, pradeep prabhu you want to add something nothing bro okay we can theek hai prabhu ji fir then we'll uh, meet tomorrow okay. or i will uh, you know uh, definitely try to join